today I'm going to attempt one of the themes that so many of you requested, the Tree of Life, with some added Japanese vibes. I will be using two of your favorite techniques as well. Let me show you how I did it. If you like the original, you can purchase it at abcreativeofficial.com. Now it's almost the end of October and I am not surprisingly in the autumn mood. Last week I made this piece, beech leaves tumbling down. I'm really fond of it. Thank you so much for your lovely comments. And I'm going to still stick with the similar color palette. There was no pouring last week. We were only doing printing and painting. So today we'll do pouring and something else that you will really enjoy. The design I have in mind will look much better with longer canvas. So this is my 50 by 20 lightweight canvas. As you can see, we are sticking with the warm color palette. So I've got burnt sienna, burnt amber, Naples yellow, pearl copper gold and light gold by Amsterdam. Titanium white and mass black, just to tone some paint. I'll show you my colors now. So these are my own mixtures. The only colors that I didn't change and I didn't intermix are bronze and gold. Even here I added a little bit of white to the umber. And here we've got a little bit of brown and black and lots of white. I wanted some kind of a greyish color. I'm going to show you the consistency now. So you see it's running off the stick really smoothly and we've got this little build up. Well, I think this one is a bit too thick, so I'm going to spray some water in. This is just pure water. And it's really important that all the paints have the same consistency. So what's in it? We've got one part of paint to two parts of Floetrol and as you've seen, some water. When you see these, you know what's going to happen, unless you are new to my channel. Sometimes I get messages from people who follow me from the very beginning on my channel. I am so curious. Would you mind writing in the comments how long you've been following me? I'll be really, really grateful. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering, these are containers from Plasticine. Ta-da! I finally got a new hairdryer. You know, it's a joke here on my channel because you know what I've been using. I've been using this crazy tool that I made myself and I loved it but it fell apart. It actually fell into my one of my pieces and I thought okay that's it. But this one is quite small so we are going to be testing it today. I'm not sponsored by them, not at all. I'm just trying various ones. It's called the flower. One brilliant feature, the flower has got a very long stem. But before we test it, I'm going to layer my paints. I've got something in my mind. I know the pattern I want to have, but I have no idea what that's going to work. I want some muted background and then I want some kind of a snaky feature. Is this hairdryer going to work? Is it going to work at all? Well, I have to try. So let's just go with white first. So I'm imagining if I make a light background, then I'll be able to apply some design. But at the moment, just white. I want a bit grey and beige. Well, let's just say trapped underneath if that's possible. You know, if I was painting with a brush, it would be very easy to apply colours wherever I want. Here, we've got this element of surprise, which I really like, so I don't mind. Just to help my paints, I've decided to touch the edges ever so slightly. Okay, little flower, time to check how you work. Now we've got two settings. Well, it's just as low and high. I'll go with low first and see how low is low. Oh, behaved pretty well. However, I think I want a bit lighter. Oh, 
Oh, I'm liking it. I am so concerned not to destroy the background. But I do want some colours going... Well, imagine a ribbon. I'm going to start with the same colour as it's in the background. And I'm going to use my pipette. Oh, I don't think I'll be able to blow on it, will I? But I might completely regret what I'm going to do now, but if I don't try it, I will never find out. So, but I have to. So let me put more paint here. And this. I actually don't even want to blow. I just want it to, to be distorted. Maybe I should just only move it. I don't know. Let's try to move it first and see what happens. It's a wild experiment. Okay, I'm liking the effect. That's interesting. Oh, I think we are getting somewhere. Okay, this is kind of more what I had in my mind. Now, all I want is to just a little bit spreading these. Okay, I must say I am very happy. That's the closest to what I was imagining. And I'm glad that I didn't use the hairdryer on top because I would have destroyed the background, wouldn't I? So we've got this and something is coming here. Now we are going to work with my new glue gun. I tried it once before and I made this silver tree. That's the one, if you haven't watched it. It was so much fun, this piece. So different. After this one, I had some requests for a golden tree with the glue gun. So that's what I'm going to do. And we'll make a landscape with a golden tree of life. How about that? Now I also have two templates that I drew for the other one. I'm not sure, this one is probably too small, this one might be too big. I might adapt this one. So this is a silicon mat, lots of people asking, and that's my super easy technique of making a glue gun piece, not putting it on canvas, because lots of people are complaining that it's very difficult to peel off if you make a mistake, and I agree. It's not the easiest thing. So I came up with this silicone mat and we'll make it here. And anytime you make a mistake, you just peel it off. It comes off like butter. It's so easy. I'm going to move the tree. I'm not going to say anything else. I'm just going to proceed. And as I said, maybe slightly alter some branches. Let me test it first. Oh, it's, this is, I'm going to say it again. This is the smoothest running gun that I've I've tried. Very happy, but this is my second time trying it. I might do one more thing because this tree was very wide. My canvas is very narrow now. I don't want to go beyond certain sections. So let's just see what the shape will be if we do that. Lots of you are asking for templates. I do share some of my templates with my patrons. I don't actually sell them online. I've been thinking a lot about it and uh, not sure at the moment. I will be aiming to make the tree within these boundaries. I'm really happy that lots of you started using glue gun to embellish your pieces. I've seen some amazing photos. So if you make something inspired by my video, uh, I would love to see it and could you please send me a picture via Instagram, that's the best way to show me something. And also thank you very much if you're posting it on social media, it would be fantastic if you could mention me as a source of inspiration. Um, yes, the glue stick is gold, however, I'll probably apply some gold leaf onto sections. The silver one, I sprayed it with spray paint and the spray paint was super, super shiny. 
you can always reheat the leftover bits and make your own sticks. I mean the midsection, it comes super easy. So I'm very pleased with that. I've changed quite a few branches as you can see. Getting closer. Now I realize that I haven't actually designed the tree trunk yet. I'm not sure how I want it to look like. But for the roots, I actually need to see how I want it incorporated within my background. So I need my background and I need it dry. It's completely dry. It's the third day today. It was a bit longer. The very next day it's usually dry once I use the hairdryer. However, this part was pretty thick. But you, you can't tell the difference. It is thicker. And look at the gold. I love those edges. Very pretty. So now I can do the mock-up. Because I can touch it. I can put my tree here and see where I want it. I'm not even taking it off the mat yet. I think it's going to be very interesting when part of the tree comes off. What do you think? One root will be coming this way. So something like that. So that's a perfect place for the root. And there will be some going somewhere here as well. For me, this is a part of the rock and I want some clouds here. So I can basically probably try my glue gun directly on it. The tree is almost ready to transfer but I am thinking of another addition. But I need to try if it's going to work first. I wonder if you're going to guess what am I making? What am I going to make? I need a really nice angle. What is this going to be? I think I need quite a few. I'm so happy I can do such a small thing with this glue gun, honestly. I think I said it before, I am not advertising it. If you are interested, there is a link in the video's description. If you are purchasing it on Amazon, I am getting a very small commission from Amazon, which does not affect you at all. So thank you very much, because that helps support the channel using my link. What type of birds do you think these are? Are they seagulls? One little fact about me, I grew up at the seaside. So for me, seeing flying seagulls in the sky, it's a, it's a normal thing. They're very simple, but I think they are pretty effective, don't you think so? Birds are made, the tree's finished. The most exciting part, something I absolutely love, peeling off. Oh, I call it peeling off, you just lift it up. Can't be anything easier than that. Look. Unfortunately, I still haven't bought any spray adhesive that I would trust. I was looking online, I'm still not sure which one would be best, so I am going to use the glue that I usually use, the diamond glaze, because I know it won't come off. So now I can actually put it here. I like the fact that I can change some stuff a little bit once I'm gluing it. I did say I'm going to use gold leaf on the tree. It's kind of brownish. Yes, the glue stick, it says it's gold, but comparing to this, it's not. That will be my next job. I'm going to apply my gilding paste first. That's the one I'm using. Once I apply it, I'll wait. It says 15 minutes. It's nice that I don't have to worry about the background. That's another bonus, you know. Time for the birds. I doubt I'll need so many birds. Nevertheless, I've made so many. They're so light. Easily flip over. Can you imagine that I made those tiny ones with this glue gun? Look at my nail and then look at the bird. While waiting for the tree to dry, I am going to add a little bit of white here to create some clouds. I think I want them somewhere here. I might add clouds in layers because I want them quite translucent, let's just say translucent. <laughs> I think I've waited long enough. I'm not going to apply the leaf onto this page because, as you can see, there's plenty of the sticky paste on the paper itself. I'm going to peel it off. Ah. I 
and now I can use all the broken bits, any parts that I fancy. It doesn't matter which side, by the way. It'll take me a couple of minutes. I could put a huge sheet on, but I do have leftovers that I want to get rid of. As you can see, quite big chunks. Trees ready. No birds. That was lots of fun. Now I'm going. I'm going to smooth it out or burnish my gold a bit, and the same with the birds. Now very gently cleaning my mess. Uh, yes, maybe it would have been easier cleaning it on on the canvas. However, I really didn't want the canvas to be covered and I knew it would be dripping from this type of surface. So I thought that was probably the best idea. It comes off very, very, very easily. I, I don't want to scrape too much. That's why I'm going slowly. But it's going to be very nice. You can tell looking at the trunk. Oops. Look at that. Okay, see you in a few minutes. I'll try and add some more clouds. Still don't have a sun. <laughs> you can still see the underneath. And perhaps while I'm waiting for this to dry, I will make the sun. And it's going to be somewhere here. This is going to be my sun. That's probably too big. Maybe the this side. Let's just do this side. Okay, now I need the outside. We don't need this one. By the way, this is frisket paper. Could use any similar one, contact paper. All right, where do I want it? Somewhere here. And now I am going to paint it white first because I want to uh, apply gold. I think it's going to look much brighter and more vibrant with white. Testing my tree, I think it's looking rather nice. And now I wanted a little bit of shadow behind the tree, so I won't be able to probably paint it later on in between. There's no point marking some boundaries very carefully. I'll rub them off. So a little bit of a shadow here. I wonder if you prefer this tree or the silver one that I made. I mean, this one looks nice with the, with the roots, I suppose. I started a little bit before, but I wasn't sure where I wanted. I only want a little bit of a shadow. No block color. <laughs> looks pretty messy, doesn't it? Or maybe some sections. A bit darker. A bit of gold leaf here and if I need more I'll add it between the branches later on see how light it looks on the white got a different pattern if I touch it it's a very good technique for the moon I'll have to come back with a couple more layers of course Second layer. I'm going to glue my tree down now. This is my glue, diamond glaze. It's water-based. I like it because if something goes wrong, I can wipe it off. If I were to use uh, super glue, that's it. I touch something, I can't remove it. I might use a brush and brush the glue on. How about that? So let me make a puddle. Hopefully that will work. I usually wait a couple of minutes, so that will give me ample time to go over the whole tree. I am definitely going to look into some spray adhesive. If you were using some and it works for you, could you please comment, leave me a comment? I will really, really appreciate it. And of course, once everything is finished, it's going to be totally encased in um, varnish. And I usually add at least three layers of varnish 
for my pieces. All right, I'm ready. Or something like, like this, but I wanted this one higher. Okay. Going to hold it for a minute and then do the edge separately. This will be too difficult to fold it over now. Before I attach the birds, I need to finish the sun and the clouds that will be partially covering this, the sun. A really nice one. I am not going to apply golden leaf. I think the sun is good like this. Now just some clouds. I'm going to choose how many birds now are going to fly. I've been shuffling the birds but I do want one flying across the sun. So I'll glue them one by one now, with the same glue, of course. It helps holding the bird in place. Whoops! <laughs> I was just about to say, uh, where was it? Somewhere here. If you like the arrangement you make, I suggest taking a photo because I already forget how exactly I wanted it. Not that it really matters, they fly however they want. Well, there you are. I must say I like the Japanese theme here and the glistening gold as well. Please let me know in the comments what you thought and it does help the algorithms as well. So I'm very thankful for every one of your comments. If you look for more footage, you can support me on Patreon where I post an extended versions of my tutorials every week. And of course, you can purchase the original at abcreativeofficial.com. Thank you so much for watching and see you all next week at the premiere. Bye bye. Bye.